Creating your own ChatGPT like application has never been easier. Today, I want to showcase a really cool project for how you can bootstrap your own ChatGPT like application using various LLMs such as OpenAI or many others that it has support for. And it's going to be able to query and index your own data so you can provide it some files and it will be able to query them for your users. It's really simple to get started and better yet, it uses Next.js and Shad CN UI under the hood as well if you want it to. You can also set it up with just an Express backend or a Python backend, but let's jump into it. So the first and pretty much only thing you're going to need for this is mpx create dash llama, and I'm going to put at latest here. Once that's done, it's going to ask me if I want to install the following packages. I'm going to click yes. And then it's just going to ask me once it's installed, what's your project name? So I'm going to call this sub GPT. Next thing it's going to ask you is which template would you like to use? Now, chat without streaming or chat with streaming. If you don't know what you're doing here, you're probably going to want to select chat with streaming. Essentially, what this is, is when it goes off to the OpenAI, for example, and it wants to generate that response. When you use with streaming, it's going to send you the second it sort of generates parts of the response, it's going to send you them. If you have chat without streaming, it's going to wait for all of that response to be generated and then send that back. So we're going to do chat with streaming. Next, it's going to ask you, do you want to use Next.js, Express, or Fast API? As I said, the Fast API or Express, that's just going to be the back end for it. So if you just want to set that up so that you can query your own and index your own data with an LLM, we're going to use Next.js so we get sort of the full stack project. Then it's going to ask which UI you'd like to use. You can just use HTML here within Next.js, but we're going to use ShadCN so it looks nice and fancy. And it's going to ask you what chat engine you would like to use. Now, the context chat engine is the one that's going to be able to index your data and you're going to be able to talk to chat GPT or whichever LLM about your data. And the simple chat engine is essentially just going to forward your request to that LLM. So you're just going to get back the basic response that that offers. So we're going to select simple chat engine and then it's going to ask for your open AI API key. If you're using another LLM, you can skip this step, but I'm going to go ahead and paste in my API key, not that one. You're not going to want to show this publicly. It's going to be added to the .emv. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one straight after using it. It's going to ask you if you want to use ESLint. I'm going to click yes. And now it's just going to install all of the dependencies for you. So I'll get back to you in VS Code once this is done. OK, so that's done installing. And here I've got the project opened up in VS Code. Now, pretty much the only thing to note about this is we've got this data folder here. And at the moment, it's got a 101 PDF that it just comes basic. This is some random document about sort of mail standards, just to show you as an example. But you can go ahead and delete this if you're using your own data. Now, you'll be able to ingest PDFs, text, CSV, Markdown, Word, and HTML files with this. And if you're going to be using the Python or Express backend, it can actually do audio and video as well. If you're using this Next.js one, it's just going to be those Markdown, Word, HTML sort of basic files. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in a document into that data folder. Now, it's worth noting as well that it's going to query these at build time. So what you want to do with that is you're going to want to go to your terminal. And at the time of writing this, there actually seems to be a bug with the um, command line interface. Essentially, it's not getting the .env file. There does seem to be a PR request for this that I've already seen. So this should be fixed possibly by the time you're watching this video. But if that occurs for you, all you need to do is export open AI underscore API underscore key like so, and then paste in your open AI key again. And now that we've done that, all we need to do is run npm run generate or pmpm if you're using that. So here we've done npm run generate and what you'll see is it's finished generating sort of the storage. So this has gone through the documents that I've added to data. As I said, this occurs at build time and it's indexed that so we'll be able to chat with that. Now let's get into the really cool stuff of launching this. So if we now do npm run dev, we'll see that this will launch a Next.js application. And if we click localhost 3000 here and open this up, you'll see that we now have a nice bootstrapped chat GPT like interface that we can talk to. So we can say, hello world first, and we'll see that that should stream in a response from OpenAI using my OpenAI key there. And there we go, it's responded. So it's gonna say, how can I assist you today? This is just, as I said, this is now interfacing with the OpenAI backend that I've set it up with. 
And now we can go ahead and try and talk to sort of our documents. So if I say, who is the YouTuber I should subscribe to? And make sure I spell that right. We'll send that off. And then it will say, based on the context provided, the document mentions a YouTube channel called Jolly Coding that offers programming tutorials and coding tips. And it's a good choice for you to subscribe to. So I recommend doing what OpenAI has said there. And that's pretty much all I'm going to show off in this video. I'm going to link the documentation down below for how you can change sort of your LLM and some more advanced use cases that it has. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you very much.